everybody I'm going to teach you how to put your PS3 into a DMZ so that you can get rid of that stupid unable to connect to host message that plagues the PS3 and Call of Duty games. Um, you're going to need to get your PS3 out and a computer and they both have to be connected to your router. Um, doesn't have to be wireless or wired, doesn't matter. Um, you're going to start by going to your connection settings on your PS3 and um, I guess I could show you in further back and network settings settings then network settings internet connection settings yes or okay or whatever easy or no I'm sorry don't do easy do a uh, custom doesn't matter if you're wired or wireless um, get Aut choose automatic until you get to IP address setting go to manual and then here's where the the fun starts um, you're gonna have to go through each of these until you can um, like you, you make that what you're trying to do is create a static IP address so you're trying to make your PS3 always connect to this number instead of whatever your router assigns it so here you can type in whatever I typed in. It doesn't really matter. This is where you choose what you want to write um, in this IP address column. Then you do subnet mask is always two 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 five five, and then that three times is zero. So never never change your subnet mask. And then the default router and primary DNS and secondary DNS are found in your computer. So you're going to go to your computer, and you're going to go to run. Where is it? And then C, type in CMD. Hello. And it should open up this black box. And next you want to type in IP config. So IP config. And then hit enter. I typed it in wrong. Typed it wrong again. All right. So when you type it in, Steam's being retarded. Um, when you type it in, you should you should get a bunch of different numbers. Um, but you want to look for is the one that has this uh, default gateway. That is what you're going to put for default router. So I have 192.168.11. So you're going to go back in here to default router and put in that. And then the next two are the exact same. So you got to plug that in two more times. Um, then the next step is also on your computer. You have to go to your internet browser and go to your address bar and what you want to type in is the address of your router now this chain this is variable for different people's different routers however it's usually actually it's almost always starts out with um, well first you need to do HTTP no you can do www I think but do HTTP colon slash slash 192 dot one six eight dot one dot one now the last two could be changed it could be dot it could be one nine two one six eight one zero or zero zero or one two or zero two those last two numbers are usually the only thing that changes so whatever it is then you hit enter and then it should come up with a oh man I typed it in wrong again All right, it should come up with this, and it should ask you to enter in your username and password. So, you want usually it'll have your default username and password as admin is your username, and then password as your password. I changed mine, but it you it's a, it's easier to remember if you keep it that way. Holy crap! All right, log in to it. All right, then it should bring you to your router's homepage. 
Um, I have a net gear. You might be Linksys or something. So this is the part where you're going to have to do a little hunting for yourself. Um, like along the side here. Um, you're going to want to look for something that has DMZ in it or DMZ hosting or something along those lines. Mine is actually in the WAN setup. That's where I find my DMZ settings. Um, oh man. Crap, I don't even know how to get rid of that stupid square. Actually, it's kind of useful. Um, so like, god dang it. Don't look at that square. Um, so you're gonna wanna find this box that has the DMZ, uh, default DMZ server or just uh, some, you don't really have to care about firewalls, but if it the word DMZ, you want to make sure it's enabled. Um, and then you have to go and then don't really pay attention to anything else. Like the MTU, make sure it says um, 1500, but if it doesn't even say it, then don't worry about it. But the only thing you really need to care about is have this thing checked and have this say the address that you wrote on your PS3. Um, so right, I have one one ten, and I have one one ten over there. So make sure it says that, and then you're gonna want to hit apply on your router. Um, but don't don't do anything with your PS3. You need to leave it right here while you're doing this on your computer. Um, once you have done that and hit apply, then just power off your router, your and your PS3. You actually you really don't have to do your router. I didn't do it, but turn off your PS3. And then, um, like, well, actually, no. You can go through this and then go to the right and then do automatic MTU, do not use proxy, um, enable UPnP. Mine, I, something's wrong with mine, but you don't really need to use it. That you're us People who are doing the DMZ usually are doing the DMZ because the UPnP doesn't work. So that's why I did it. Um, anyway. So you're going to want to save the settings, but do not test the connection. So if you hit X, it'll say save completed, but then hit back out. Then you're going to want to power off your, um, power off your PS3, power it back on. Um, then it should either automatically connect, or if it doesn't, go do a connection test, and then it should connect. And then everything should seem the same, except when you get online. Uh, you'll be able to connect to people and they'll be able to connect to you. Alright, thanks for watching.